the majority of women that I deal with with breast cancer are working women. So one of the important questions that I'm asked is, gosh, Dr. Harness, how much time am I going to need off from work? And after I have my surgery, when can I go back to work? Of course, one of the questions I have to ask the patient is, what kind of work do you do? Um, fortunately, most of my uh, uh, patients are working uh, jobs that they can be at a desk, be at a computer, things of that sort. Uh, one of my recent patients is a professional electrician uh, doing construction uh, work uh, at industrial jobs. So the answer then is going to vary for a lot of different factors. A, what kind of work do you do? B, where does your surgery fit into the overall game plan of your treatment? And, uh, you know, factors like that. And what other sorts of support do you have? Also, the answer to the question, when can I go back to work, depends on the extent of the surgery that we've done. So a small lumpectomy with a small sentinel node biopsy, a uh, patient could easily be back at a computer type job or something of that sort within a week to 10 days. If that same person is doing heavy labor or many of my patients uh, uh, are, do house, a lot of household work or other kinds of things, I may recommend they not go back to work for four to six weeks. Uh, generally, if you work at Ford Motor Company as an example, you might be off work for two to three months because a company like Ford doesn't want you back in the production line. Uh, I use them simply as an example until you're fully recovered from your surgery and there are no restrictions for your work. That brings up another issue. Some patients can go back to work and what they ask that we add in restrictions for the work, happy to do that. Now, sort of blended into that answer is of course, what's coming next? So let me give you an example. A typical stage two patient now needs to go on to adjuvant chemotherapy. Uh, generally, the chemotherapy will begin about three weeks or so uh, after the surgery. The patients are su sufficiently healed up at that point in time uh, to be able to start their chemotherapy. During the initial phases of chemotherapy, they might be doing quite well, but then need to stop work because of some of the side effects of, of chemotherapy. So as you can see, the answer to the question, gee, Dr. Harness, when can I go back to work? Really, the answer to that is kind of all over the waterfront, depending on your circumstances. So as I've said multiple times, if you're working with a multidisciplinary team, those providers of that team can give you the correct or the best answer for you, given your set of circumstances. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.